So today I'm going to show you guys how you can use overlays to enhance your visualizers. And I'm also going to show you guys how you can loop your visualizers with these overlays. And I'll be using the light source overlay from Friendly Files because there's so much overlays to work with and it's really high quality and compatible with every single software. And you know I got y'all boys with an exclusive offer. You can save up to 10% off at checkout by using the code BLURZY. The pack will be in my description below. So with everything set up, we can actually open Photoshop and start editing. So now I'm inside of Photoshop. So what I'm going to do is simply select my subject. So the first thing I'll do is simply click on select subject. It will select it automatically. But as you can see, it's not perfect. So what I'm going to do is simply fix the imperfections like so. Okay, I'm just going to be careful with them. I fix all of the imperfections. So what I'm going to do is simply copy and paste it into another layer like so. I'll simply use Control C to copy and Control V to paste. And I'm simply going to select Kendrick Lamar again to simply remove him from the original picture. The mask doesn't need to be super precise. You can go all over him like that. So I'm going to click on Generative Fill without writing anything. And I'm simply going to wait until he disappears like so. Now what we're going to do is simply mask out the mic. So I'm simply going to use this tool right there. And I'm going to take care of the mic until it's completely selected. So I'm just making a rough selection. And I'm simply going to expand it right there and i'm simply going to copy and paste it into another layer like so now what we're going to do is simply select the mic again in the original picture and simply delete it by clicking on generative fill now what i'm going to do is simply take care of the floor so i'm just going to make a little selection like this and i'm going to copy and paste it into another layer let me isolate it real quick and i'm simply going to expand it with the scale option so simply Control t and by clicking on shift you're going to expand the picture like this and the purpose of doing that is to simply make this floor three-dimensional once we start animating inside of after effects and now what i'm going to do is simply select the details like the screens on the floor right there so i'm simply going to pick them both okay like so so now what i'm going to do is simply copy and paste it into another layer and now what i'm going to do is simply select them all so even the screens in the back and i'm simply going to delete them all with the generative fill tool like usual so now i'm just gonna make sure to delete the stage from the picture because we don't need it anymore since we have our stage in another layer now what i'm gonna do is simply select the crowd to separate them from the background i'll copy and paste it into another layer and i'll simply delete the crowd from the original picture so now that everything is done we can actually start importing our psd inside of after effects so simply drag and drop it right there click on ok i'll double click on the composition to see every layers and until and I'll simply convert my scene into a 3D scene with 3D5 Pro. The link of this tool will be in my description. So now what I'm going to do is simply rotate this floor to make it look like a real floor. And now what I'm going to do is simply pull it down like that. And now what I'm going to do is simply make some slight adjustments and I'll come back after those. So now that all of my adjustments has been done, what I'm going to do is simply animate my 3D camera. So I'm simply going to add a keyframe at the first frame and I go a few frames forward and add another keyframe. I'll zoom it in on the first keyframe so it can do a zoom out animation when we play it. So I'm simply going to tweak with this z-axis like this and I think this is enough and as you can see we got a clean zoom out animation what you can do is simply select all of your keyframes click on F9 to smooth it all and I think the zoom out is too fast so I'm simply going to stretch my keyframes away like that so I think this is a perfect speed the only thing missing is a little bit of shake so I'm going to add it with 3D5 Pro so here we go now we have a little bit of shape what i'm gonna do is simply add some pins to my character to animate it so i'm gonna add some pins to the feet a pin to the ground and then a pin to the chest and the head and then what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go to file script and then i'm gonna select for a hair rig and this will make a little animation the script is totally free so i'm gonna plug it inside my description and now once that animation is finished what i'm gonna do is simply select all of my layers click on Control shift c to pre-compose all of those and now here we are at the most important part of the video the animation kind of looks boring so i'm gonna pull out my light source overlays and as you can see i got options there's a lot of overlays that i can choose and i'm simply gonna pick this one because it will add a lot more atmosphere to the visualizer and the plan is to simply add a bunch of those light source overlays to my animation to add a lot more substance and impact to it and now to remove the black screen from the overlay what you can do is simply put it at classic screen dodge and if the effect is too strong what you can do is simply click on t and simply put the opacity down like that i'm gonna put it at 50 percent and if we play the animation back as you can see it changes everything and now what i'm gonna do is simply duplicate the overlay and simply place it all throughout my scene to really add an atmosphere to it and to add a little of variation what i'm gonna do is simply replace this overlay with another one i'm simply gonna use this one right there 
I'm simply gonna place it correctly. I'm gonna click on S to scale it up. And now what I'm gonna do is simply change the blend mode to color dodge. And this will add this cool effect like that. And now if you play everything back, as you can see the overlays really changes everything. Like it really adds a lot more atmosphere to the animation. And I really like that. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to make the animation loop. So the first thing you can do is simply add an overlay to your scene and simply cut it in half and now what you're gonna do is put the first part of the overlay at the end of the timeline and you're gonna put the last part of it at the start of the timeline now i'm simply gonna play everything back and you'll see the final result for yourself and just right there the animation will loop seamlessly so this light source overlay is really powerful to enhance your visuals whether it's visualizers or video transitions or whatever you want to make these light source overlays will always be useful in any projects that you make. And if the video was helpful, don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel, leave a like, and I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.